Hey, wrestling fans, we are set for an exciting, exciting March event here at Supreme Pro Wrestling. I'm Alan Sanchez. Next to me is Junior Bruce. Uh, this is, it's boiling out here. There's, there's so much going on here at Supreme Pro Wrestling since last month to this month. Uh, what are your thoughts? Well, you know, Alan, first of all, it's an honor to be here. We are on the, uh, the, the road to the anniversary yes, show. Yes, this is it. Coming up in April. Uh, last month was exciting. This mm -hmm. month, already it's already Bedlam in the, in the ring. Right. You know, uh, Corvus, Rick Luxury, celebrating the third year anniversary of being the beautiful people here in SPW. And uh, Corvus wants to commemorate the moment with something beautiful, something progressive. He wants to bequeath uh, or ask Rick a question. And then everybody else decides to just come out here yes. and interrupt over and over again. Very disrespectful. And uh, I, you know what? But did it deserve a ceremony of... Me dropping falling star from Corvus, turning into the why uh, Mr. Is, hey Rick. Why is there so much hate in your heart? What? Okay. There's a there's Dude, hearts around the hearts and stars around the this ring. This is 2016. A man can be whatever he wants. Absolutely. I I 100% agree. I just don't think that we need to stop a, a jam packed show uh, like we see right now. And uh, I think the beautiful people are getting the wrong side of what's going on here. Now, this has been only in Supreme Pro Wrestling. That's one thing I think you and I could agree with, where there are tag team champions, but they're taking each other on, but they're also a combination of two different tag teams. But somehow it makes sense, but it doesn't, but it does. You know, it's, a, it's an enigma wrapped up in a conundrum, wrapped yeah. up in a riddle. I mean, you've got all that more down here at SPW Arena every third Sunday right. of the month. And then you got to think, okay, of course, the, the beautiful freaks who now are the four work well with each other. And then the, the Honor Society, uh, Pat, and then, of course, uh, Bobby Hart work well with each other. But look, they all want to hold the titles. Well, uh, and, and we heard not, not, not only was Corvus looking to change his name from the fallen, fallen star to Mr. Hey Rick, but uh, we finally... Oh, they were going to try to... One, two, uh-oh. I think they had some kind of scheming plan. Like you said last month, if I'm, they just pin each other, then they kind of keep it in the family. Yeah, you know what? I'm not exactly sure what the thought process yeah. was behind that, but the referee knock knock laying the law down here, demanding there be one member. Yeah, he's trying to get some control. Like, look, we love that action. We love the war, but there's got to be control. This still is professional wrestling. We had a great crowd out here. Supreme Fantastic. Wrestling. You know, and, and I apologize. I completely forgot what I was going to say. There's just too much There's going so on. There's so much. I, can't I, keep agree. Up with I it. agree. I agree with you on that. Yeah. Oh. And the two big men are in the ring right now. Two of the, two of the biggest men. That's what I was going to say. Bobby Hart and uh, uh, Pat Fitzpatrick now. Uh, they're no longer known as Bobby Hart, Pat Fitzpatrick. They're known as the axe-murdering pirates who can count to not one, not two, but three, Alan. That's a, does that fit on a T-shirt somehow? Uh, uh, I'm, sure, I'm sure some graphic designer can make that can happen. Somebody can do it. Now, this is it. You know the anniversary show very well because you were there last year. I you was there saw, last year. You know how, what it means to the wrestlers to get their name next to an anniversary show, to it be a part everything. of the card. And, and what better way to be on that card than be becoming tag team champions. Hey, listen, uh, you know, you, there's no substitute for momentum, none. So if you can go, you'd much rather go into an anniversary show, a big show where all eyes are going to be on you. The entire you know local and global wrestling world is going to be paying attention to what you're doing that night. Ooh, woohoo! And I think uh, just like Drake proves, momentum yeah, is say. when it's on your side, it's a good thing. Yeah, you want to be going in with that momentum, you don't want to be coming from behind. Nobody loves a good underdog story, Alan, nobody. Uh, well, well, talking about uh, an underdog story, how about Mr. Flacco Loco, who has been going against the establishment here as a pre-pro wrestling. Now, I, for, according to uh, Mike Miller, he's in the county jail here in Sacramento. Well, I mean, can you blame the authorities for, for picking him up and throwing him in the slammer? For, for he what assaulted, he called... He's assaulted an innocent person last month who was just doing his job in the form of uh, Mike Miller's lawyer. Mike Miller's lawyer didn't sign up to be hit in the face by a, a trained Look, he provoked, fighter. He provoked El Flaco Loco uh, after, the, after the many insults, especially when you saw the, the small, when they had last month's debate there is a uh, 
podium. Both had podiums, and of course, El Flaco Loco got the short end, literally, okay. of the podium. Big a slam there by Drake Apparently, Falls. Flaco Loco forgot the old adage, sticks and stones may make may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Yeah, okay. now, now let's just all walk around and walk on eggshells and, you know, fear uh, hurting each other's feelings while we throw fists in each other's faces. How about we do that? Well, I will. Again, you and I have different opinions when it comes to how Supreme Pro Wrestling is right. Uh-oh. And... Chatter, Chatterbox. Chatterbox is making sure that uh, everybody at home watching this at you, on YouTube uh, around the world, he wants them to know that Drake Frost is a bully. Drake Frost. I see it. Is I, a I can see his point of view. Professional wrestler who's wrestled up and down California. Highly and decorated professional Highly wrestler, decorated. Yes. And look, they know what they're getting themselves into. But I'll be honest with you, if Chatterbox gets any closer, I'm taking. I think the exit's to I, my I, left. I thought Chatterbox was putting a pox on us at first, so I was kind of recoiling. Unpredictable. I saw that man back there. I I, look, I was going to put my bag down, my, all my equipment, into a dark corner, and there he was with the freaks. I don't know what was going on, but I made sure I walked away. And only a two count there is uh, Sir Samurai. And, and there's so much animosity between. The war is not over between the, oh, look at the pair pull right there. Between the beautiful people, the freaks, the beautiful freaks, and the honor society. As Tilo. Oh, man. Well, you know, we've seen some struggles going on between the beautiful freaks and the beautiful people. They, there's it, it kind of, I mean, you saw it earlier. The beautiful freaks came out and interrupted Corvus' attempt to, to solidify his partnership with Rick Luxury. So there's something goofy going on there as well, but... Nevertheless, they continue to work as a well-oiled machine when they're in the ring. Well, they're on the same say, page. They're still champions, so something's working. Absolutely, and it's always, I mean, I feel like I'm a, a broken record saying this every month, Alan, but it pays to have the numbers in your favor. Well, talk about numbers. They're adding a lot of numbers so far. We got four on this. Uh-oh. Got a Five? chin lock situation going on here. Six? <laughs> Seven, what is going on here? That is a lot of men. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh! oh! It was like a stutter and everybody got a piece of that one. Rick, I, I felt that one, Alan. And Rick is being holed up by momentum. That's just science there. The dentist will be in the building tomorrow, that's for sure. <laughs> He's still holed up. Uh-oh. Push him again. Up. Oh. Playing ping pong with the ropes with Rick Luxury. There you go. On the way down is now in full advantage is Sir Samurai. The Honor Society have been focused and focused on just getting back to that title reign. They've, They've been so close before, but a lot of uh, mischiefness. Well, the Honor Society for the bulk of the year has just been having a hard time putting the freaks away. And now that the, since they've merged with the beautiful people, it's been doubly hard for them to actually climb and ascend to the top of the uh, the tag ranks here in SPW. And now Pat Fitzpatrick, who, you know, that man as a referee, most people recognize him. He's like, isn't that, wasn't that the referee? Look, he's made for to be a competitor just the way he thinks he's been watching that's what they, they people see referees they go oh what do they know but how much closer can you get to the action but being the referee he's learning the game he, and what better person to learn from but then bobby hart what better way what better way to learn what rules you can bend and what that's what true. you can get away with that's how i'd look at it you got to wonder if Corvus is a little more enthusiastic after his proposal of being called Mr. Hey Rick. Oh, look at that. Well, that was pretty impressive there. And that could be enough cover. Solid. One, uh, two. Solid suplex there. Good, good teamwork, though, there. Bobby Hart saving the pin. Now Pat into the corner of Rick Luxury. Haven't seen a lot of Rick Luxury in this match one-on-one no. -on -one just yet. And I think uh, Chatterbox lost his, Chatterbox lost his balloons. As you can see in uh, your bottom of your screen, he's trying to, I don't think he's, he's going <laughs> to climb the ropes so he can try to grab them. 
Well, those are really nice balloons, Alan. They were very nice. They One of them matches, I don't want to say his makeup, because I think he just those, walks around her. Well, that. those things are expensive. They're at least like $1.50 at, uh, at Safeway. Yeah, that's right. And now Bobby Hart there in there with Truex and uh-oh. In the raw. Oh, oh, my gosh. Look at that snap suplex. That was nasty. Ooh, man. That was nasty. Ooh, yeah. You look at the face of Truex. You can see the pain. You couldn't even go for the pin cover or for the tag. Only a two count. Big right hand there by the Axe Murderer. Drop toe hold right to the ground, right on the face. Uh-oh. This is not. Well, um, uh, wait, he doesn't know who's behind him. He thinks it's Bobby because they're pretty much the same size. And, and Tilo's not really one to talk, so he's probably not communicating with him. He said, hey, it was me the entire time. In the ring is Corvus and Rick. Chatterblock's on the outside trying to figure this out, separate. Uh, Truex uh, wants nothing to do with Tilo right my now. My gosh. <laughs> Mind you, this is only match number one here at Supreme Pro Wrestling. We got so much this coming up. This is the up. first time I've ever seen Truex weirded out by somebody. <laughs> right, well, he also got, he's probably dazed and confused after all the shots that Absolutely. took from Bobby Hart. Uh, it's Bobby it's Hart into the middle. Momentum. Samurai, ooh, right to the corner. Oh, and the biggest guy of them all. One, two, three, right to the corner. Big oh. splash. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Can we have a sensor bar? They're consummating their partnership no. in the middle of the ring. Get a room. Get a room. They need to get all the <laughs> my gosh. Well. Remember when I said this is two, uh, 2016, Alan? Yes. You're right. Look. I didn't realize just how 2016 yeah, it was, it, but. Chatterbox on the outside trying to separate there. We got Truex and Tilo, the bottom of your screen. Oh, Rick is mad now. Ooh, Rick Look is at that. mad because he, he was embarrassed, let's be honest. Oh, uh, using the distraction now. Beautiful freaks pulling out Samurai and Frost. They weren't able to see it, but Bobby's in there by himself. Essentially, it's a kind of three on one, but Bobby is one of the most intense men in Supreme Pro Wrestling. He'll take everyone on. And, oh, he got oh. caught. He got caught. Doesn't matter how intense you are, that'll put you down. Right, and Rick has won many championships by that move, and the four, is this, has this ever been done here at Supreme Pro Wrestling, the four corners of death? Oh, the four oh corners of God. death! You just, oh my gosh. So, but we might need a medic. We not might need how a medic. How is the ring still standing up? We might need a medic. That was a beautiful series of headbutts from all four men at the same time. Oh, look at that. Double choke slam from the force of nature. It just shows you just how quickly things can turn you on the You never know, and I'm still, as you can see the top of your screen, people are still coming in. This is why you can't be late for any SPW live event because it's going to be right in your face. That's just like you saw Drake Foss in the face of Pat Fitzpatrick. They're setting him up. Okay, all right, hold on, hold on. Chat okay, Chatterbox. Sorry, Chatterbox. We're sorry about your balloons, buddy. We're sorry about your balloons. Into the corner, up and over on the, and we've seen this before. Oh, Bobby Hart. Bobby Hart's got Pat's foot there. He's protecting his partner. Uh, what? What? What is going on? This, this is a three-way chicken fight. This has never been we done. We saw the chicken fight last. Uh, it was last only a two-on-one. Oh, come on! Please <laughs> no. don't. Oh, one, one team's out. Two teams out. This is this is dangerous. Bobby Hart is in there. Trying to save his partner. And Bobby Hart could have just saved the ribs oh. in the back of his his partner, his new tank team partner. I do not like uh, Pat's future here. But Bobby only took out Drake. But that leaves. Uh-oh. Pat's fighting it. Pat's fighting it. He doesn't want to be a part of this. Oh! Oh! Seriously, we need a medic. I'm not trying to be the funny guy here and trying to over-exaggerate. There are bodies that are beaten all over this arena. Well, look at that. I mean, and Chatterbox on the outside. On the bottom of your screen, you see Chatterbox. Everything's breaking down now. I don't know. But Pat's I'm, still trying to Pat's trying to fight Chatterbox. Uh-oh. But in there. You gotta give the man credit. 
Look at up and over. Oh, oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? The suicide dive backfired on Samurai, taking out his own partner, Alan. This arena has lit up. I don't, uh, yeah, you're right. He took out his, uh-oh, beautiful people, Corvus and, and Rick on the outside. Ooh, and that'll split the difference. Oh, but caught him. He caught him, Trix caught him right with a big forearm across the Cor chin. Corvus and Luxury are in a perilous position now. Oh! oh! What? Unbelievable. I, no, who had that? Who Nobody had that saw this coming. Look, you put it on paper and you figure out who you have picked, quote unquote. You, they're, not the, they're not in first place, second or third. They're in the fourth place. Not because of Bobby B, because of how green, if you will, Pat is. Pat now, after only a few months, has Tag Team Championship in his hands. That's gotta feel good for that young man, especially after getting killed by Samurai there for a brief second. After that horrific superplex off the top rope. I gotta tell you what though, momentum all in their favor going into the anniversary show. We see Rick Luxury pour. After Rick Luxury was proposed to, Uh -oh. Every show this year has started with those four and us four for those. Pat, congratulations. But next month is the 16 year anniversary show. I'd say let's start it off with a bang. You two teams, you guys, us for the belts. We're stealing the show and we're leaving the champions. Samurai. Samurai. Anytime, any place, and the anniversary show sounds freaking fantastic. Yeah, we're in. We're in. What, what, what the two gay guys said. <laughs> One more time, Alan. One more time next month. I, 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 what do you say? I absolutely. What do you, Did you say? see what we just saw here? It was. Tempers oh are flaring right now. Oh my gosh! This is only match number one. We'll be back.